What's going on, fellas? I'm gonna go over how to uh, flash BL Heli 13.2 on these new SN20 AESCs, whether you have a Simon K bootloader or you have a uh, BL Heli bootloader. Um, so many of you are familiar with the Turnigy or Afro USB stick. It's the USB flasher here. Um, this little guy works only with the um, with the Simon K bootloader. And some of these ESCs are shipping with BL Heli. I actually got a mixed bag of both, which I only wanted the Simon K, um, but they sent me a mixed bag, a mixed bag that I have to sort myself. So I had a little trouble at first trying to figure out, you know, how to talk to both protocols. So I picked up this Arduino Nano here uh, off Amazon for I think it was $11.99. Prime shipping was here the next day. Um, and this actually talks to um, both protocols, Simon K bootloader and BL Heli bootloader, so it's it's awesome. And I'm gonna go over how to do just that with um, with this little Nano. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do is you need to download BL Heli Suite 13.2. I will put this in the description um, in the video, and you guys can download it. Um, then you're gonna need to plug your Nano in to your computer so it can install the drivers. They should be built in and and install as soon as you plug it in. Um, once you do that, then you're ready to get started. Um, a couple other things you're going to need is a LiPo, um, 2 to 4S I believe. I'm using this 4S uh, LiPo here. And you need something that can um, power the ESC. So you can solder your ESCs to your power distribution board and plug in your battery and um, power them that way. I'm just using these little alligator clips though. Um, and what else? That should be good. Okay, so once you get into BL Heli, okay, hopefully you guys can see that. So once you get into BL Heli and your Arduino Nano is plugged in and the drivers are finished installing, um, we need to make an interface for each of the um, Simon K bootloader and BL Heli bootloader. So if you know which ESCs, which bootloader you have, then uh, just follow this video accordingly and you can figure it out. If you don't know, you're gonna have to try both and see which one it works. Um, so first we're gonna go to um, make interfaces right here. And once you go to make interfaces, hopefully you guys can see all this, um, you need to go to the right side here and it's gonna be um, Arduino board. Nano with Atmega 328. Uh, baud rates 57,600. And here's where we um, decide if this is going to be a BL Heli bootloader or Simon K bootloader. Um, so let's do the BL Heli one first. So I'm going to click right here um, Arduino BL Heli bootloader. And yeah, that's the right one for the BL Heli bootloader. Um, flash blah 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 at COM1 for BL Heli. Oh, one thing we need to do down here at the bottom left. We need to change that to the corresponding COM port, which mine is in uh, COM port 8. Okay, so once you do that, then you're good. Um, now let's click Arduino BL Heli bootloader. Flash Arduino Nano Add Mega Board at COM 8 with BL Heli bootloader interface usage. Yes, they're going to start flashing. And at the end of all this, it should say successful by AVR Dude, and it did, so that's good. Awesome. Please select SLI. Uh, SIL Labs or Admega BL Heli Bootloader USB COM interface. Okay. Um, now we're going to go back here to Atmel BESC setup. And we should be good to go ahead and flash. Oh, um, one thing we need to do real quick go to this drop down menu and we need to select this top one right here Atmel BL Heli Bootloader USB slash COM for the BL Heli version. Okay, we're going to come back down here and we're going to get everything uh, set up and ready to go. So we're going to plug this in and make sure you guys don't let these two touch or you're going to have some sparks. Um, <clears throat> you don't want to short those two together. So grab your BL Heli bootloader ESC and we need to go over this real quick too. On the, on the Arduino Nano board here. There's going to be no way you're going to be able to see this probably. But along this line, there's a, here we go. You can see D3 
and then the next space over, two spaces over is ground. That's how we're gonna actually connect this ESC. So the signal is gonna go to D3, and the uh, ground's gonna go to ground. The middle pin is obviously unoccupied, so that does not matter. So you're gonna get that plugged in correctly on the uh, Arduino Nano. So signal to D3, ground to ground. Okay, and then what I like to do next is space all these out. You don't want them to touch when you power it up because you'll get some sparks and possibly damage the ESC. So always connect ground first. So ground's connected to complete the circuit. All we need to do is, um, <clears throat> is connect the positive here. But we're gonna go back up here real quick. And we're gonna wanna hit, um, we're gonna make sure, wanna make sure we're on COM8 and we're gonna hit connect. And it's gonna say, um, uh, do a power cycle basically. So just connect the circuit. And as I, I, you're not gonna be able to watch both, but I'm gonna connect the positive pin. And it connected. So first thing I like to do is read the setup to see what kind of settings are already on there. And you're gonna get the um, you're gonna get the firmware version up here. So this is actually 13.1. So they this was before 13.2 came out. And we can easily reflash that and change all these settings right in this interface. So as you can see, damp light was already enabled. You can disable it. You can change DMAG compensation, uh, motor timing, depending on your motor needs, but these stock settings are usually pretty good. Um, so the only thing I'm going to do with this one is Flash 13.2, which is just a little bit newer. So I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to hit Flash BL Heli here. It's already selected DYS SN28 Multi. Okay, yes. And it's going to write to the device and make sure that it wrote it correctly. Flash successful. Um, do you want to write the current settings? Yes, which is what we just had before. And then I like to read it again just to make sure everything's correct. So now you can see we're on 13.2 up here and it's flashed and, and it's done. And this was the BL Heli, B, e, uh, BL Heli ESC. So I'm going to disconnect and unpower everything and unplug it from the Arduino Nano. Okay, now we're going to do the uh, Simon K. Um, the Simon K bootloader with the Arduino Nano. So I'm gonna get this other Simon K ESC out here. And same thing as last time, plug signal to D3, ground to ground. Um, hook up your negative, your ground. And now we're all, all we're waiting for is to connect that positive there. Now we need to go back up here and make an interface for Simon K. So we're gonna go to select, um, sorry, make interfaces here. Um, we're gonna make sure we're on COM port eight right here again. And let's do the uh, Simon K bootloader, Arduino USB link SK bootloader. Click that, hit yes. It's gonna flash it. You're basically just changing the uh, settings on the actual Nano so it can talk to the Simon K protocol now. Um, it's successful. Um, please select between 96 and 11, 15, 200 baud rate. Um, do you want to set up the Nano Arduino USB linker for a servo plug connected to D3, D2, and ground? Yes, you do. All right, and it's successful. Now we're going to go back over here, and before we try, uh, the drop down needs to be changed to Atmel SK Bootloader Arduino USB linker. Not the Afro. Don't use that one. Use the Arduino USB linker. So we're going to click that, make sure we're on COM8, um, um, 19200 baud rates, okay, it'll work. And we're going to hit connect again. Now same thing as last time, we're, this ESC is waiting to go, so all we need to do is connect the positive once we get this screen going. So it's waiting for you to connect, connect the ESC. Oh, it timed out, so let's do it again. There we go, we'll connect, it's going to connect right away, hopefully little spark that's okay and it connected <clears throat> so same thing as last time just read the setup see what's on there already change all the settings you want to this one actually has BL Heli 13.2 already on with all the settings I like uh, damp lights enabled and stuff like that so uh, this is good to go um, and then you can just disconnect and disconnect everything from your Arduino Nano and the LiPo and there will be a little spark when you plug that when you complete that circuit just make sure you're in a 
you're not like doing this on the carpet or something flammable. Um, and that's about it. So that's how you use the uh, this little Arduino Nano to uh, talk to Simon K and be a heli bootloader. Um, I have zero preference on either. As long as the firmware in the end is um, BL Heli, that's all that matters. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys want to see more content like this, I'm going to be making videos all the time now. Um, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps out a lot. So thank you guys for following what I do. Take care.